clusters seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Kinsey, why are you sending me after these things, and where exactly are they? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Um, okay? God. Watch your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster, or farther away. I think I got one, Kenzie. You sure this thing's safe? Safe-ish. Just keep getting them. Oh, I love this song. Come on, Kenzie, sing it with me. No, I don't think so. Oh, come on! I'll even let you be the cat. Not gonna happen. We come together. Now your turn, come on. And you know it ain't fiction. Come on! No. Kinsey, that's an order from your president. Fuck that. This is why we aren't closer. We could be lovers. She makes the bed. And he steals the covers. He borrows this thing. He can go see me, Complete, but amazing. I know I'm gonna regret this, but how is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. Huh. I actually kind of understand that. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. Nope. Never mind, you're talking gibberish again. Ugh. It's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. Now we're talking the same language. Oh, I scored the night. fragments. Get one more and we'll see. So, if these data thingies... Uh, clusters. Fine, clusters. If they can be so useful, then why isn't Zenyak sending his people out to collect them? Why would they need them? To give his people a boost or something. I don't know, you're the one who says they're amazing. If Zenyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! Yeah, but what about keeping us from... You know what? N never mind. I'm just gonna accept this and move on. Probably better that way.
Holy shit! Zenyak destroyed my apartment! Ugh. That place should have been condemned a long time ago. Well, I always thought it had character. Should be enough. Let's see what I can do here. Check your hub. Feels awesome! Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. What am I supposed to do in here? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? Okay, try focusing on charging your jump. That should get you higher. How the hell am I supposed to jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. I can climb walls? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Same difference. This time I blew the buildings apart. Try making that jump. I can this. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. Oh, you gotta be chill. Just try it. I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer so you can reach the end. Though you probably want to avoid the firewalls along the way. Good luck! this stuff here anyway? Don't know, but it seems like when you break through any checkpoints along the race, the district's reality matrix will overload a little. And that means something to me? <sighs> it means the simulation doesn't like it, and we're able to control the area. Sounds simple enough. It did the first time I said it too. You know I love you, Kenzie. Lies.
can't forget the pickles.